you guys, it's Vivis and welcome back to another video. Now, I thought I'd just make this video really, really quickly um, because if you actually do one of these mini quests, which I'm going to show you right now, you can gain around, I think it's about 400k divination XP. Let me just double check. And for completing this mini quest, you get about 525k, um, 525k divination XP. And you also get like 15 lure books, whatever they are, two extra titles, a, uh, a tiny Lucian pet, and some other gypsy um, cosmetic items. But it's actually going to be called the Marjorat Memories. And basically what you want to be doing is you have to complete the um, Koshi's Trouble mini quest. It, it takes about five minutes. It's really, 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 really quickly. Uh, really, really quick, sorry. It takes, and you get 30k divination XP. But if you're trying to get that 99 divination like myself, and um, it's really, really useful to do this. So I'm going to be basically showing you guys how to do it real quickly. Um, but actually this is going to take between five and eight hours. Um, because you have to collect a lot of memories. So just take that in mind. And basically, once you've spoken to um, Kashi, you um, you get given an engrammeter, and it must be charged with divination memories, and from any tier above the vibrant memories. And basically, what you have to do is you have to charge it with 500 memories, and um, the actual the rich counters two. So yeah, 500 regular memories, and obviously rich counters two, like I just said. And after charging the engrammeter, um, you know, at one of the divination spots, I'm going to be going to the 90 plus world or 95 plus. You actually have to find each Majorat memory, and basically after storing a memory, you have to return to Kashi to translate them. Um, you have to translate that Majorat memory before you can actually recharge the um, engrammeter again. And uh, basically, after every single time you do that, you'll get 25,000 divination XP. Um, so that's going to be absolutely epic XP. So basically, on the whole, you have to um, capture, or you have to get 7,500 memories, and uh, each set of 500 memories will take approximately 20 to 25 minutes to collect, uh, depending how many rich memories you collect, and obviously leaving the overall time to complete this mini quest, you know, in excess of five hours. So it will take you a long time, but in the end, it will be worth it. So basically, once you arrived at your actual um, chosen spring spot, uh, anywhere above the vibrant energies, which is 60 divination, um, basically once you've got a reasonably full inventory or a completely full inventory all you have to do is uh, left click the engrammer or right click and then hit recharge and that basically fills it up and once you've hit uh, 500 I'll be back with you okay so once you've recharged your uh, engrammer by using um, any of your chosen memories above vibrant um, you have to return to cache so basically whenever you correct uh, collect a memory you just have to I believe it's operate the engrammer and you get a memory and then give that memory um, to Kashe. So once you've spoken to Akashi again, you actually have to collect another 500 memories and then you have to make your way um, down to one of the other 14 locations. Now next I'm going to be doing um, Arcan, Arcan Thank Akos. I don't know, he's, he's in the Anakos Temple. But uh, when I was doing this orig originally, I kind of screwed it up because I thought you could just go to the temples and hit um, Operate on the Engrammer. But what you actually have to do is you have to recharge your Engrammer completely with the 500 memories and then make your way to one of the spots and hit Operate. And you have to do that 14 times to actually complete this mini quest. So the second memory spot is actually in the desert. And to get there, I just use the, um, the home teleport to get to the desert. Um, I'm not sure what it's actually called. It might be called um, in the Kazan McGee Desert. I'm not. I'm not quite sure what the desert is actually called. Basically, what you want to do is once you've home teleported, all you have to do is run south and uh, ex enter a little hole. And once you've gone down the hole, all you have to do is climb down another ladder. And then um, after you've climbed down that ladder, just follow the path that I take on screen. And uh, all you have to do is once you get into the basically the open room uh, that I'm standing in, all you have to do is click uh, left click on the engrammer and you'll get your memory. So your next memory is just at the um, altar where you change to your ancient magic. So all you have to do is basically what the quickest way to get there is through using your Ferro Scepter, choosing third option, and then running out the gate and um, through the tunnel. And then basically once you're outside the altar, just use your um, engrammer. So the next memory is quite close to one of the uh, the other desert memory, except you don't actually have to delm as far into the um, into an Acris temple. So basically, you just go to the same spot you were before, and um, you just and there's a massive open circle spot in the middle. And you just have to use your engrammer there, and you get your next memory. So your next one's pretty simple. All you have to do is use your uh, Edgeville Lodestone, go across the bridge to the east near the Summoning Obelisk, run south, and then once you're inside that house, just use your uh, engrammer and you get your next memory. Now to get to Hazil's memory, just use your Mobilizing Armies, um, teleport on a dual ring, use the Spirit Tree, and then um, run... Oh, use the Spirit Tree to get to the Khazard's um, battlefield, and then run east over the bridge, um, as you can see on screen, and then you'll get to some sort of... Get to some sort of cave. Once you go down the cave, uh, use the boat there, and then um, just go a little bit north. And at the little at the little cold sack looking thing, use your engrammer. You get your next memory. 
So the most effective way is to use the fairy ring code DKQ on your next one. Now you can use any fairy ring you like, and once you hit the code DKQ, um, we're a little bit north into the little snowy cave there, and then once you're inside, just jump over the river by using the rocks, and then run north into the cave, and then you have to stand right by the bridge, or you can go over the bridge and stand on the island, it's up to you. So it's really helpful if you actually have a dig site pendant for the next part. You can just pick one up from the GE for a few K. Um, so just rub your dig site pendant and then to obviously teleport to the dig site and run south and run down the lever or the um, leverage device. I'm not sure what it's called. And then run around the corner. And to get the memory, all you have to do is use the engram right out the front of the altar where you change to curses and obviously you'll get your next memory. So now the next memory is near the ice gate where you do the um, desert treasure quest. So basically what you want to do is teleport to Trollheim. Um, or if you haven't got the Trollheim teleport, just use a, um, you just run up there, however however you want to get to the Trollheim. Um, once you get to Trollheim, run west through all the rocks, and then instead of going up towards the farming patch, you just want to continue north, um, and then go northwest there, and then you want to go straight into the cave, and then run all the way around the, like, the little ice path around the big corner, and then you'll come to another like door, so you want to head straight outside, and then once you're outside, you run east, run into the other little, other little cave, and then all you have to do is click your engraminer to get your next memory. So the next memory can be found if you teleport to the Glacor Cave um, through the code DKQ of the Fairy Rings, and then once you got there, just run north, um, right outside the entrance way or the exit way, or whatever you want to call it. Then you'll run north straight through the battlefield, and then you'll get to like this little entrance. Once you get to the entrance, run through the door, and then climb over this little um, little bridge, little rubble-looking thing, and then go straight past the Iron Dragons. Now they're not really. Um, they're not aggressive, so you don't have to worry about bringing antifires or anything like that. But you want basically just want to run um, right outside of the snowfall and then click here and grab to get the next memory. Now, to get the next memory, all you have to do is speak to Brother Samwell. He's south of the old man, and once you speak to him, you'll get given the invitation book from one of the quests. I can't remember what it's called. Um, basically, all you want to do is interact with the um, invitation book and teleport to the citadel, and then run. I think it's east. Yeah, no, it's north, straight through to the main room where you um, release the guy from the cage, and then you'll be able to get your uh, memory. So the next place you're going to have to be going to is Nada. Now the best way to get there is through the Slayer Ring, teleport to um, Polivanech, I think it's called, and then run south to the um, Gypsy McGee Trader with the guy that lets you travel on the carpet, and then just teleport, no, not teleport, travel to Nada, and then basically once you get to Nada, you want to run north into the northernmost room, and then as soon as you get in there, just use your engrammeter. So this next part will actually take you the longest out of all the um, all the memories. So all you want to do is teleport to Varrock and then go into the Varrock Museum. I believe it, no, not the Varrock Museum. It's the main library in the Varrock, and then go to the northwesternmost wing. Go up one flight of stairs, I think it is. No, it might be two flights of stairs. Let's pick to Heartwind there, and basically um, get him to teleport you to the trapdoor in which you know once you go down it, there's armored zombies and stuff there. But it gives you a warning saying there's PKS goals inactive or something like that. Uh, but don't worry about it. Now for this part, you'll need uh, insulated boots and a macaw. And, uh, you know, just make sure you summon your macaw and wear your insulated boots for the entire thing, um, just, just to make things easier. But once you've spoken to Heartwind, you basically just have to run past the armored zombies and follow the path all the way around through two doors, I think it is. And then you get into the room with a pipe. Just go through the pipe and then um, you'll be greeted with all these, like, Gypsy McGee um, energy things. So just run around the corner there to the little red dot icon um, and then interact with, the I think it's with the pipe. And then you basically just have to hold spacebar there. Um, and basically it says you can't do anything, so you have to interact with your macaw, and then just, I think it's search with the macaw or something like that. Um, but then you have to have hold space by through the text, and you get teleported to a different room. And to actually complete this one, all you have to do is run to the room, I believe it's to the south, and then just use your engrammer, and you get your memory. So for the last memory, you have to teleport to the fairy ring code, um, fairy or fairy ring location, DKQ, and this is the Glacor Cave, so you have to go northern, so you have to go north through the little cave, and then you'll be greeted with the battlefield, that which was in the Ritual of Mindrack quest, I think it was, and there's a little grey square in the middle of the battlefield, and you actually have to stand west of that to use your engrammer to get your last memory, and so that's, you know, seeing as that's the last memory, just teleport back to um, the guy that started, I can't remember his name, Theus McGee Titties, or something like that, um, something to do with titties and stuff, so um, make sure to teleport back to Relica, and then speak to that dude, and then you're finished, you get 150k bonus experience in Divination, and you've already got like a, a bunch of other XP from, um, you know, from actually returning all the memories. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a like and I will see you in the next video.